Heavy pairing all stars. When you go to a celebrity's house, you want to know about the film, the gossip on set, all of that, right? Wrong. No, we only care about the dogs. So we will meet a dog. We will also meet a famous person. You want to guess who that is? No, really. Take a guess. Yeah. This sprightly Lhasa Apso is Leonidas. Yeah. He loves toys and can go to any height for them. Well, literally. And yes, that's the one who indulges him the most, Bollywood actress Tanisha Mukherjee. Hello. Hi. How Welcome are you? to Heavy Petting. Very Thank good. Thank you. you very much. So today is going to be an epic day. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We've got Tanisha. I hope. And we've got. King Leonidas. King Leonidas. So we're going to be in the midst of royalty and Tanisha today. This is going to be super fun. I can't wait to be like started. Shall we? Yes. Yeah. Let's do that. I've been wanting to do this forever. <laughs> hey, King Leonidas. Yes. It's so cool. It's like tonight we dine in Sparta. It's so incredible. <laughs> I think that's the first Leonidas we have on the show. You know, when I got him, I was just like, what do I name him after? Like, it was three years ago, and I was like, I just lost. A puppy, and I was like, "Oh my God!" You know, I was in depression, and this friend of mine gave him to me, and she was like, "He's going to make you feel better." And I was like, "Who can I think of? Who's the the epitome of everything male?" And I was like, "King Leonidas, 300." I like how she so. just says that with such honesty, saying, "I just needed to get like somebody who was perfect as a man, and just get a dog with exactly that name." <laughs> yeah, sounds good. So technically, you're saying that the epitome of manhood follows you around the whole day that's going to make you feel good yes he does strategy he's so my speak. perfect man yeah so speaking of the perfect man um they always say that perfection comes from both the pet owner and the pet itself right so you both learn things from each other of course so what have you learned from king leon i do so far i've learned how to be selfless from him because you know um my grandmom used to always tell me that when you want to see how much god loves you look in the eyes of a dog and the amount this dog has just showered me with like you know love and no expectations just no expectations he just looks at me with this complete devotion so i think i've learned how to be a little selfless from it were you selfish earlier yes very little bit how very 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 <laughs> she says totally <laughs> like like no, you no, want no, more attention now no, this one wants more attention yeah and he does and he's you know he's He's such a like. He's also taught me how to have a little attitude. Like he like actually give you know that right kind of attitude that you know I want what I want. Like I want my chicken. Right. I won't eat roti. <laughs> the, the very the nice brush off where you get what you want. Yeah. yeah. I'm imagining in your house when you grow up with three actresses together mm -hmm. and a dog. That's basically essentially four people now. for all very very cool celebrities in the rights right yeah how does that even work well the actresses have to give in to the dog sure of course we realize that they just they just you know they are more important than us yeah so we all do we all yeah. give in to him. my mum is constantly like he'll go and jump on her bed early in the morning and wake her up and she'll be so irritated but you know what she loves it so yeah. it's just you know you give in to the dog So what about some other animals? You've got uh, two other pets as well. Yeah, I have um, two mo more cocker spaniels, uh, Flash and Bianca. They've been with me for much longer than Leo. Leo is only three years old. Flash and Bianca are seven and eight. I When you said Bianca, I'm picturing a really hot girl. You know what I mean? She's she's a lady. Oh, she's a lady. She's a full lady. <laughs> So we we'll play something which is called Leo's slam book. Okay. Uh, surprise, because Leo will not be able to talk because he's got a bad throat today. I think Tanisha is going to be the spokesperson. Do you agree to take that responsibility? I'm usually his spokesperson. Yes, that's right. Okay. So my favorite food is chicken keema. Oh, really? Yeah, he loves chicken keema. My favorite time to go out for a walk is whenever my mom wakes up <laughs> and takes me out. <laughs> okay. My do not disturb time is my do not disturb time is when I'm eating. It's like please don't come between me and my food. <laughs> okay. And the one thing that makes me extremely jealous. 
other people hugging my mother or other people laughing with my mother or talking to my mother no yeah sorry no it has to be me 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 everything me okay, like, like if my mom and i are hugging leo will get very upset and he'll come in the middle like he'll want to be part of that hug so i have a question for you when obviously you have to look beautiful it comes naturally when i have to look lovely it comes i wake up looking stunning all the time of course yeah when it's leo true. has to look good he's always looking great but if he has to look a little bit better what can one do I sent him to the parlor, which is what I did today. I said because we're shooting, so I sent him to the parlor to get groomed and have his little blow dry and hair wash and all. If it's your pet's birthday and you want her to feel extra special, how about a surprise birthday party, doggy style? Celebrations aren't only for humans. Join Pedigree Heavy Bottom All Stars in a canine bash. Amber, come here, come here, baby, come here, come here. I know you are excited. It's your birthday today, beta. You have to go to get ready. Come, we'll go to Oh My Dog. Oh My Dog is basically it's a company working for dogs now. We have got. all kind of all kind of lines in dogs clothes like whatever you can think for your for your own babies either it be t-shirts or maybe baba suits or maybe lingerie for your baby girl oh ho aaiye hello sir kya haal hai sir sir ne ready le hone ke liye bhi baaki sab bhi aa gaye hain theek hai sabko ready karte hain chalo it's one of my clients dogs birthday today her name is amber I'm doing the the wardrobe courtesy, and I have planned something very nice for Amber. And I've got five, six more different dogs of different breeds of different people. So there were different days though. But today was my day. I chose I chose all the clothes and um decided all the things and accessories. Everybody is. Every dog is wearing a tie and a hat with different jackets. So, except the girl, the girl, the birthday girl, she is a brown color cocker spaniel. So I've planned a very nice contrast. She's a girl and too blingy, too, too notorious, too active. So I've thought of a very nice contrast, pink and green on her, and it's a sunflower dress. Bright, happy, and show-stopping. A complete fit with Amber's personality. Let's set a party. Come on in boys and girls, friends and lovers, it's my birthday. Oh, and I love that I'm okay. Design the clothes, stylish accessories, a birthday cake, who wouldn't envy a dog's life? So I've always wondered how actresses look so terrific. They're always in great shape. Now, of course, I know the answer. It comes from the calories you burn from carrying the dog. Yes, because he's a constant bicep workout. What would be like two things between the two of you, which is like, oh my god, that's same trait. <laughs> well, I do believe that dogs are a reflection of their masters. I would say that Leo definitely has my like comfort with people, and you know, he's he's. very welcoming when we come into the house and he's not a biter he's just a really fun you know easy going dog and that's a lot to do with my personality essentially she just complimented herself yes. said all these wonderful things like uh, the dogs also like that but i i'm like and that and then he's like really good looking you know <laughs> well played nicely done but that has happened right so of course yeah but you're right about the fact that they obviously learn from yeah. somewhere So, Maybe. what is the one trait about you now? As unflattering as this might sound, the one bad trait on you that Leo has? Oh, he's very possessive, he's and so am I. Like, don't come between me and my loved ones. Don't come between me and the things I like. So he's very, you know, when he's focused on one thing, he's like, you, don't, you don't. You protect what you yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Now, I've also heard that Leo is an Olympic champion because he entered into the jumping competition. Jumped so high that they gave him a medal. I I don't know what it is. I mean, these dogs don't have that like this breed, this Lhasa Apso breed. 
they are not supposed to be jumpers but from the time that I got him I actually used to be scared when he was a puppy because I thought he would break his bones because he would like jump this high and I would be like Leo <laughs> calm down <laughs> I think I'm going to call you ATM. Why? Adopting Tanisha Mukherjee. Oh, that's nice. I think we can stick with that. Adopting it. Tanisha. Because Mukherjee. apparently you like adopting uh, dogs. Yes, I I have. I think if you love something and you like animals around you, and if you have the ability to take care of them and people who love them as well, then you should. But if you can't maintain a dog and you've never kept a dog, then I think it's just cruel. Yeah. to bring him into your home if you cannot give him the time and space and everything that it requires. So even if the intention is right, you're not equipped Even for if it. the intention is right, if you're not equipped for it, please don't do it. Like that would be my sincere request. Please don't be so selfish because it's it's like having a baby. It's like having, you know, like a love. It, yeah. You have to give it that time and patience. And so how many pets would you have adopted? I adopted two other stray dogs. The, you know, the Paria dogs mm. for my Lunavla property. And they're fabulous. Sarkar and Munni Bhai, they totally take care of my property. Like, no dog or human can enter my property. They're like security. And Munni Bhai is the most natural name you would ever think of a dog. I mean, you see a dog and you say, that's Munni Bhai. That's Munni Bhai. I'm going to give you the award for the most imaginative <laughs> names ever. I will pick up the Buddha, but then I think I'm figuratively going to give it to you. Because those are very cool names. Sarkar and Munni Bhai. Tanisha sure likes to christen her pets the film way. So because you have animals at home, I think, you know, there's two ways to learn things. Either you can learn from a textbook or you can just learn things about an animal. So something very cool you've learned about dogs which has just been with like being around them. I prefer dogs to people. That they're just loving and selfless and fun and you know, always there. It's very polite to have saying I prefer the dog over anyone else in the world. But actually a lot of people do say that, that they do prefer dogs over people because with the dog you know exactly how the affection is playing out. Yeah. yeah? So if you're ever wondering, is a dog better or is a human? That answer we don't have. But what we do have is the answer to last week's contest question. Last week we asked you, which of these is a mammal? Your options were A, bat, B, snake or C, a parrot. The correct answer is A, bat. While snakes are reptiles and parrots are birds, bats are mammals. Their forelimbs form webbed wings, making them the only mammals truly capable of sustained flight. Thank <laughs> you.